What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition, HBI. I know I look I like a hot mess. I literally just got out of my spiritual bath, literally, about five or ten minutes ago. I'm about to go walking. There, uh, probably a long, large distance tonight because I haven't walked in a while. And I've gained. I've gained about ten pounds. And I realized it last night. I was like, oh, these pants are fitting a little tight. And I got on the uh, scale and I was like, oh, my God, it's because I've gained ten pounds. So... <laughs> Dang, <coughs> excuse me. I've been eating more carbs than usual, but I didn't realize that many carbs. So, I mean, I need to get out there. That's what I'm trying to say. So, um, I I know I look a hot mess, but you know, it is what it is. Y'all, y'all see, I get on here and whatever, whatever. Uh, it. I'm sure it's just another day for y'all, but I'm just saying. Okay, so I received another channel message. It's 7:53 p.m. 10:24 2022. So, um, I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the shares of my content. I just want to say that real quick. Um, I've got, I've have, uh, I gained about 50 subscribers overnight. I gained about 20 today. So, um, thanks so much for all the sharing of my content. I think it's really helping get my videos around to people that have never seen my business or my content or my videos and, um, people that would like the content or it could help them. I think it's getting around to people that have never seen it before. Um, so I really, really, really appreciate all the shares and all the likes and subscribes too, but I really appreciate that. Okay. So we're gonna do this, okay? I'm trying to make, I'm trying to that that, that I'm trying not to make it too long. Love you guys so much. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone had you under investigation in the past, and I heard you shouldn't have been under investigation, um, but you were. Um, I heard your name has been cleared, but now they're under heavy investigation. And I heard it's not going to going to go well for them. And I heard they're about to be under investigation the right way this time. You were not under investigation the correct way in the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates, man. So whoever you are, you are under heavy investigation in the past. But I heard it wasn't done in some kind of, yours wasn't done the right way. Change, change, five, 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 change energy. Number nine can be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number nine. Um, so you wasn't under investigation the right way in the past. Um, so they didn't do it the right way. I'm assuming right proper, proper policies, procedures, protocols, or what have you, what have you. I mean, I'm not an investigator, so I don't know the right policies, procedures, or protocols for the, those kind of things. But yours wasn't done the right way is what I heard in the past. But I heard your name has been cleared. So... Your investigation sounds like it's been completed. It's been completed and you've been cleared. But now the same people that had put you under investigation, now they're under heavy investigation. And I heard it's not going to go well for those people. And I heard their investigations, and it's two or two plus people, if this resonates for you, it's being done the right way. And I heard it's not going to go well for them. Um, so um, they intentionally had you put under investigation. I heard you shouldn't have been. Um, it was to cover their ass, but it is already backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. Okay. I heard it was to cover their ass. So they had you put it under investigation to cover their ass, but I heard it's already backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. So five, 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 change energy changes, um, all over the place here. I heard the only reason they had you put it under investigation was to cover their ass. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Someone's, one of you guys getting a huge wake up call. Um, maybe you were involved with uh, the not correctly done investigation of the past or you're involved with the investigations done now the correct way. Or you know somebody that's under investigation the correct way now or somebody that was under investigation in the past that wasn't done the correct way. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys, but whoever I'm speaking to, I feel your divine masculine about them that was put under investigation and not a proper way in the past. And now the negative karma is cycling around for two or two plus people that had you put under investigation. I heard it was strictly to cover their ass. But I heard um, it's not going to go well for them. It's not going to go well for them. So there's something going on fishy there. Now, I don't know if that's 
it could be anything. It could be a plethora of things. It could be financial. It could be abuse. It could be exploitation. It could be some kind of weird, funky pedophile ring, um, pay-to-play shit I've been pulling in. It could be a, a plethora of things is what I'm saying. But whoever had you put under investigation in the past that wasn't even done the right way to begin with, they're under investigation now. Just know this. And it's not going to go well for them, um, whoever these people are. Uh, so... It sounds like they were getting scared because you were on to them or they thought you would be on to them. And that's why they had your ass put under investigation is what my intuitive logical reason on this. But it's, it's going to backfire on them. I heard it's already backfired. It's going to continue to backfire because they have something to hide and you don't is what it sounds like. It sounds like they have something to hide and you don't. That's exactly it. And it's coming out. Oh, my God. I heard that's exactly it. And it's coming out. So that was it. That was the premise. That's the whole reason they had you under investigation. Because they had something to hide and you didn't. But they wanted so bad for there be something for you to be something negative on your end. But your name's been cleared. So whoever you are, you're not a criminal, I'm presuming. You're not a criminal. Um, and But they wanted you to be. God knows they wanted you to be. But it's because they are. It's because they are. Oh, thoughts upright, mature woman upright. Number six or 16 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number six or 16, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number six or 16, thoughts upright, mature woman upright. You were a feminine energy that was put under heavy investigation in the past. Things are about to start looking up for you in a very positive way. Your toxic family is about to be in for very negative karma and others that helped them in the past. Some people you used to work with. Okay. So you're a femme that was put under. Um, you're divine femme. This is your energy, mature woman, divine fem. You were uh, you were put under heavy investigation in the past, but your toxic family had you put under he heavy investigation and ex-coworkers, whether that was manager, boss, supervisors, or CEOs, or actual co-workers that were on the same level as you. You plug it in how it resonates, but some ex-coworkers, whether it's managers, bosses, supervisors, CEOs, or equal playing field co-workers, Collaborated with Toxic Family to have you put under investigation. But you've been cleared now. Now their asses are about to be um, already under investigation. I heard it's not going to go well for them. I heard things are about to go well for you. So up for you and well for you and down for them, basically. You might receive a very angry communication from a sibling soon. It would not be smart to take it or feed into it. Okay, Divine Fem, if this resonates for you. So um, you might receive a very angry communication from a sibling soon. I heard it would not be smart to take it or feed into it. So that could be a brother or a sister or somebody you call a brother or a sister. Some kind of uh, communication from a sibling, I'm presuming a biological sibling or a foster sibling or someone you consider a sibling, whether it's a brother or sister. I heard it wouldn't be smart to respond or feed into it. I mean, of course, you can have free will and respond, but if it was me, I'd be very minimal about it. If this is your story and situation and you resonate over here, I'd be very minimal about it because um, you don't want them to screenshot it and go back and be like, well, this is what she said and this is what she said and this is what she said. You see what I'm saying? So um, they have a screenshot on their phone too, I'm sure. So I would, you know, I'd be careful. So I think your sibling is thinking about you, but I don't think they're thinking about you in a positive way. Um, I heard it wouldn't be smart to communicate with them. Um, or if you did, be very minimal. I think they're thinking about you, but not, not in a very positive way, divine fam. I feel guided to get some earth magic.
Pyramids did you see here before too? <clears throat> okay, I just heard take it. We have unfoldment. This investigation is about to be very huge, very huge. Investigators are figuring out motives and they're figuring out why they treated you the way they did. You are about to get rewarded in this in a huge way. Lots of positive blessings are going to come for you out of this because it's not fooling the investigators. It is really, truly not. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Well, whoever's on to this, I'll tell you this, Divine Fem. Whoever is on to this, and I feel for some, maybe you're the investigators investigating this, possibly. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But, um, or you can be the, the Divine Fem, that, um, or the toxic family, or the family under, uh, or the co-workers under investigation. You plug it in, how it resonates. But, you, Divine Fem, um, I'll tell you, the investigators investigating this, they're not dum-dums, um, or they're not easy, easily manipulated. I think they're really highly, I mean, these aren't just people just thrown in in investigator hats. I mean, I really think they're the real fucking deal. Like, really, manipulation tactics don't get them. Manipulation tactics don't get their asses. You can try to come up on them with sex all day long. Yeah, okay, I, I can go have 10 of those if I wanted. You know, you coming up on me with sex ain't going to manipulate me any. You offering me bribe money ain't going to manipulate me any. I've got 50K in the bank. I've got five bill in the bank. You know what I'm saying? So I think these are really skilled people here. Money's not going to tempt them. Sex ain't going to tempt them. I mean, I'm sure they've already had all these things or has all these things. So them investigating these folks is not... um. It's not going to face them because they're looking at the facts. They're looking at the events. They're looking at what happened. And um, whatever the hell happened to you, Divine Pim, was very wrong. It was very wrong. That's confirmation. It was very wrong. It was very wrong. Um, but the investigators know this. They know this, ma'am. They, and I think it's two or two plus investigators, ma'am. Heard investigators. I think it's two or two plus. Or the investigator has a sidekick or something. Um, heard investigators. So I think it's two or two plus, but whatever the hell happened, it sounds like it went on for a while and it was strategic is what it sounds like. And it was premeditated. I heard the investigators are figuring out motives. They're figuring out motives and you're about to get huge blessings in this because they're figuring out the motives of why these people, the co-workers of your past and the toxic family all collaborated together to do something terrible to you, ma'am. Um, I think for some, it has to do with your workplace environments and your toxic, and obviously your ex coworkers and your toxic family all cohooted together. But the investigators are onto their ass. They're onto them. They're investigating them now. And it sounds like they're going to continue to investigate them. Um, shocking series of chain events I'm feeling here um, is what I'm feeling here. Unfoldment, series of chain events unfolding. I think one of those series of chain events unfolding is the blessings about to come in for you um, because the investigators are figuring out their motives of why they did what they did. Um, so I hopefully by the end of this process, it sounds like they're in mid investigation now is what it's sounding like here. Hopefully by the end of the investigation, hopefully they speak to you. I'm hoping now for some, they might've already spoke to you. I didn't hear if they have or haven't, but if they have it, hopefully they do eventually speak to you. Um, I heard that you're going to get huge blessings out of this. So for some, I feel it has to do with previous workplace environments. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Confirmation, by the way, for challenge. Confirmation with the neighbor's dogs. They're howling. Now, they bark a lot. They bark a lot. And they always bark. But they're howling, and they never howl. So confirmation from howling. I think these people are going to be, because their ass is about to be exposed.
Video camera footage in a credit union is very significant in this. And a workplace environment, a corporate conglomerate. And receipts. Banking statements. Video camera footage. Oh my God, I gotta close that. The howling is affecting my channeling. Hold on a second. Okay, I apologize. Okay, so I heard video game, uh, not video game, not video game. Oh, maybe one of you guys likes video games. I don't know why I said that. Um, video camera footage in a credit union is about to become very significant. Video camera footage in a uh, credit union is about to become very significant. And video camera footage in a corporate conglomerate is about to become very significant. And some kind of receipts and banking statements are about to become very significant. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So a series of chain of events, um, I think gathering up these banking statements, gathering up the video camera footage in a credit union. I did hear a credit union and not a banking institution and the video camera footage in a corporate conglomerate. Um, so I think gathering up the footage, um, what, something to do with ex coworkers, a toxic family and a current investigation going on and something to do with credit union. So you plug it in how it resonates. But you are divine femme. You are, uh, and your sibling wants to reach out to you, but they're going to be very angry. So that wouldn't be suggested. So your sibling, as part of this toxic family, is what I'm feeling here. Thoughts, you're a divine femme, but you're a woman. Now you can be any age. It's not about physical age, it is about maturity level. Taking care of your bills, taking care of your responsibilities, um, paying off your, you know, paying your. Etc. 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 Taking care of your kids if you have kids. Um, taking care of your responsibilities. Taking care of yourself, your pets, yourself. What have you? What have you? A Sagittarius has already revealed important information on this, and they will continue to reveal important information on this. They never thought they would. And an Aquarius is about to start helping as well. Okay, so heavy Sagittarius energy. Okay, I heard a Sagittarius has already started revealing information on this, um, and they're going to continue. I heard they never thought they would, but they are. It sounds like they are now. Um, whoever the Sag is, they could have Sag in any aspects of their charts. I feel that they can be masculine or femme Sag. For some, you could be the Sag. Um, but they're helping, and they never thought they would. So whoever the Sag is, masculine or femme Sag. Um, and they're going to continue to help. And I heard soon an Aquarius is going to start helping. So that could be a masculine or femme Aquarius, and they could have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts. Whoever you are, Aquarius, about to start helping. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Those could be the, the unfoldment of events as well. Um, the, the Sag continuing to help and they never thought they would and the Aquarius about to start helping. Um, however that resonates. So let's pull one more and then I'm going to close it. I really got to get out there and get this 10 pounds off, man. Uh, it blew. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but I'm just saying. It's just me in this house all damn day long. I'm just saying. I really miss working out in 3D. I just want to make this clear. I do. I miss working out in 3D because I miss being around people. I miss interacting with folks. Um, but I don't miss all the drama of workplace like, um, like retaliation and workplace drama with the coworkers trying to get you fired strategically, sabotage shit. I don't enjoy that. But my actual job, I loved. And the patients I served, I loved. And that's just the truth. Like being around people, genuine people, I love. So being cooped up in the house all the time, it really, it drives me a little bonkers. Um, but I'm building, I'm plan is to build my money up so I can start traveling. Um, cause I know a lot of you guys have requested me to wanted me to do meet and greets in different States and uh, things of that nature, States and cities. And, um, and I would love to do that. I just don't have the money for that right now. Um, but that is my goal. 
So, um, but I, I don't want to sit around and gain no 10 pounds. That's for damn sure. Spirit message is here. Perspective. All right, let's get one more. Spirit message is here. Perspective. Compassion. Okay. And then we have synergy on the bottom of the deck. Someone's perspective has completely changed on a situation of the past. It will continue to change and someone's is about to. They had no empathy, sympathy, or compassion for this situation in the past, but they really do now. Because they couldn't imagine if it was them placed in that situation. It was a terrible situation. Entrapment. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it could be your perspective that's changed on the situation or somebody you're connected to. But one person, it could be the Sagittarius or the Aquariuses or anybody else. I was just was pulling in Sagittarius and Aquarius energy, helping. Um, Sag is already helping, and Aquarius is about to start helping. But, you know, whatever sign and whoever this is for is what I'm saying. But for someone's perspective has changed on this situation in the past, um, has already changed. And somebody's perspective is about to change on this situation. Very situ serious situation in the past. I think of you, Divine Femme, where your name has been cleared now, but somebody is strategically had you put on an investigation to cover their ass because of their criminal behavior, basically. And it, for some, it was your ex coworkers and toxic family. Um, but somebody's perspective has already changed because they, I heard they couldn't imagine if they were had put, been put in that situation. And I heard it was a terrible situation, it was an entrapment situation. Um, and yeah, nobody should, deserves to be put in an entrapment situation um, at all. And somehow it involves your previous workplaces and toxic family. I'll tell you that, ma'am, uh, right, right now. I mean, it sounds, and I didn't hear this, but it sounds like you were under like severe, you were under investigation, but it wasn't done the right way. So I don't even think you were told you were under investigation. You were not told. Okay, I heard you were not told. You were not told. You were not told you were on investigation. See, that's the thing. To my know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not an investigator, so don't quote me on this. But I, to my knowledge, I thought you were supposed to be notified you were under investigation. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an investigator. But I did hear you were never told you were under investigation. That's for sure. So, however that resonates, Okay. Now, I will tell you from reading the emails, I'm a nurse, for anybody doesn't know, I'm an RN. I've been an RN a long time, uh, licensed since 2013. I know if you go under a, a board of investigation, uh, I'm a board of nursing investigation. I can only tell you this because I'm a nurse and I've read the emails, okay? But if you go under a board of nursing investigation, um, you will be notified. I'll, t I'll tell you that right now. From the emails, from the board of nursing, from the state of Alabama. Now, I don't know about other states. You will be notified. Um, and I, that's because I've read the emails from the Board of Nursing. Um, now, any other investigation, like feds or po uh, police or private eye or whatever, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I know for nursing, for the state of Alabama, you will be notified if you get put under investigation. That's for sure. But I've never been a, I've never been under investigation for the Board of Nursing because there's never been a reason to put me under investigation because I'm not a, usually you go under investigation for the Board of, Board of Nursing for like a huge medication error, uh, if it, you know, a huge uh, medication error or if there's some kind of suspected drug use or alcoholism or something. Um, but I've never had those kind of issues. So, um, but, but I can only speak on the Board of Nursing from the state of Alabama because I am. I am a nurse from the state of Alabama. Um, but any other state or whatever, any other investigations, I don't know. But whatever kind of investigation this was, ma'am, you were not notified. I'll tell you that. You were not notified. So whatever kind of investigation. But your name has been cleared, and that is good, okay? But somebody's getting a perspective change now, and somebody's about to, about the situation of the investigation of the past you were not notified about, ma'am. 
um, because I heard they couldn't have imagined been put in been put in those shoes. So they have compassion for the situation now because they didn't want to be put in that kind of situation. Um, I feel it's ended for you. It has ended. It has ended. It has ended. It has ended for you. Cycles have completed. But whoever has compassion for you here, they would have ever want to be put under that situation. I heard it was an entrapment situation. So I feel narcissistic triangulation and flying monkeys like your family was in on it. Ex-co-workers was in on it. They were all in on it. Like, it was weird. It was very weird. So, perspective change with compassion, sympathy, and empathy. Because somebody else wouldn't have been... They they feel... They have compassion and empathy for this situation. Because they wouldn't have been one... They wouldn't have appreciated being put under that situation, basically. And nobody deserves to be put in that situation. And that's just the truth. I heard it was an entrapment situation. And I heard um, somebody else is about to have compassion, sympathy, and empathy for this situation too. And their perspective is about to change too. So that's good too. And whatever kind of evidence these investigators are getting, um, it sounds like it's some good, good stuff, but good stuff for you and bad for these folks um, is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with this situation soon. Many, 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 many of them. Many of them. It is not going to go well for these people. Okay. Several shocking series of chain of events are many of them. A crap ton of shocking series of chain of events are about to occur for these people. Um, it's not going to go well for these people. Um, but I think it's the investigators about to create the shocking series of chain events for these people because, um, some kind of evidence. I heard video camera footage from a credit union is about to become significant. Video camera footage in a corporate conglomerate workplace setting, I think involving you, ma'am, or, or ex-co-workers of yours or something of, something of that nature. And some kind of banking statements and, uh, receipts are about to become very significant. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, but it's going to go good for you. You're about to go up. I think you were intentionally, it was some kind of entrapment situation, so I feel you were intentionally just, but um, but it's about to go up for you um, and down for the, the criminals. So keep your head up, ma'am. Keep your head up, okay? I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.